Be sure to join the Telegram channel for all news, updates and any general help you need. The channel is extremely helpful with a very friendly community. Okay, so before we dive into this tutorial, I want to talk about what makes Affiliate unique. Affiliate is a wallet with a built-in DEX. Affiliate token APH has a unique rewards model. Users that commit APH share an 80% of traded fees. I believe this is far superior than the normal staking models. The trading fees are equally unique using a flat fee per match. Trade volume size won't affect the rate of the fee. What this means is you get a wallet with a built-in DEX, with very low fees and very secure. Affiliate versions include Windows and Mac, Android and iOS. There is also a mobile web wallet version. The mobile versions are very clean, responsive and very user friendly. I have to say it is definitely one of the best mobile wallets I've used. The majority of features that are available in the desktop versions are also in the mobile versions. In this tutorial we will look at the following. Creating a new or importing an existing wallet. An overview of all the dashboard options including committing APH for the rewards and also the basics on how to use the DEX. So first, let's look at importing a wallet. Click on Login. The saved wallet option allows you to open wallets you have created in Affiliate and you can also create your first wallet here. The next option is logging in using a ledger. If we click on this, you'll notice I haven't got a ledger connected. I will enable my ledger and now you'll notice it automatically logs in for me. This is a great ease of use case. When you create a wallet, for example in Neon, you create a password and you are given an encrypted key and a private key. If you are using the encrypted key option, you would input your Neon passphrase and encrypted key here. If you have a private key from any Neo wallet, for example Neon, O3 or Neo Tracker, or even another affiliate wallet, this is where you would add the private key and import it. So creating a new wallet is very simple. Click on create new wallet, then give your wallet a name and choose a good passphrase that you can remember. I use a sentence with capitals for every word combined with numbers. Then click on create. Wallets give you the option to save an encrypted key and a private key. It is vital when you create any keys that you store them offline and not on your computer or phone. Copy all the keys into a text file and save to an offline device like a USB stick or external hard drive. It is also important to print a copy and keep it in a safe place away from your home in case of a fire or a break-in. Give a copy to one of your family members. Now that might sound extreme but many have lost their crypto because they didn't take enough precautions. So let's take a look at the dashboard. The dashboard home screen shows the total value of your portfolio. Selecting a token under My Holdings updates its token stats and displays relevant market information. The chart is simple but effective and gives you the information you need. Clicking on the Receive tab is where you get your address and can be copied here. Sending is very easy. First, select the token you wish to send. Next, add the address. If you have any contacts, you can simply copy the address here. Enter the amount and it will give you a value estimation, which is very handy. Click Next and make sure you confirm all is well and then hit Send. All your recent transactions can be seen here and clicking on one will give you more detailed information. If you have a larger screen and like to zoom in, the controls on the top right are perfect. On the menu, 
let's start with settings. The big and the bold backup wallet tab is there for a reason. As I already stated, saving your keys to an offline storage device is vital. If you have multiple accounts, the backup shown will be for the current active account. If you make regular payments to people for whatever reason, like I do, an address book is perfect. As you can see, I have two contacts. Adding a new contact is very simple. Click on add contact, input the name and address and hit add. You may need to edit or remove a contact's info in the future. A fill in makes this very simple. Preferences gives you the option to change the language and currency. If you are a developer, testnet is also an option. The split gas option is another unique feature of Affiliate. By splitting gas, the Affiliate DEX will still run as normal even under an attack on the NEO network. Under network fee, it is recommended to add this amount. I will leave a link in the description with more detailed information about splitting gas. The wallet section is great. Here I have one wallet I created in Affiliate. I will create another wallet by importing a private key from my Neon wallet. Click on import a wallet. Now give the wallet a name. Use control V to paste your private key. Then make sure to create a strong passphrase. And finally select import. As you can see the new wallet is here. However this purple line signifies which wallet is active. To use the new wallet we need to log in with the passphrase we just created. Now we can see the line shows the wallet is active. Be sure to make a backup like I have previously shown in this video. This wallet can now be accessed from the login screen by simply logging in with your passphrase. Join ICO is for any ICOs that provide you with the script hash and let you purchase directly with your address. You'll need to confirm all details with the ICO before you use this feature. Under history, it shows you all your past transactions. Clicking on a transaction gives you detailed information. The search option gives you a 7, 30 and 90 day search. It also gives you a custom option. The assets tab lists the default assets, but you can also add more by clicking on add token. If you know the token symbol, you can simply add it here. I'll add Moonlight. It is case sensitive, so I'll make sure it's uppercase. You can see it has been added, and to remove it, simply click here. So let's look at committing APH. Committing APH is one of the backbones of Affiliate. More widespread adoption and increased trading will catapult this distribution rewards model. If you click on the learn more, this gives you an overview of what you need to know. But let's put this into practice. Let's commit some APH. First, let's click on commit. I have 10,000 APH and I want to commit the full amount. So I'll click on max. Click on commit. When the transaction is complete, you will see your APH displayed here. Now it will take approximately 20 hours before your APH becomes eligible for the rewards. 500 blocks in, you will now notice it gives me some stats. 
With one block left, you'll notice when the block changes, the compound tab becomes active. We are now eligible to claim or compound the fees that we have earned. Compounding is great if you are looking to increase your commitment. Simply click Compound. When the transaction is complete, your total committed amount will now include the fees you just compounded. If at any time you want to access your APH, you can simply hit Claim. When the transaction is complete, your APH will now show in your portfolio balance. If you want to add more APH to your committed total, for example I have 6000 here, you will need to first claim your APH and then recommit the total amount. As you can see here, I have 5000 APH, 0.5 gas and 5 NEO. Some trades will require APH used for fees, which I'll explain in this video. You need some gas for transactions to and from the contract wallet in the DEX. Click on Trade DEX. You'll be presented with this pop-up about splitting gas. I will say yes and allow splitting of gas. Read the details about the DEX and click Accept. From the top left you can change the mode. Some prefer light, I will leave it dark. Market Pairs by default displays NEO APH, but you can expand this and choose either NEO or Gas Pairs. For now, let's choose the default pair NEO APH. Before I show you a trade example, I want you to understand about Affiliate trade fees. Affiliate has a very unique fee model where 80% of all trade fees are redistributed back to the affiliate users that are committing their APH. For me, I really don't mind paying the very low fees in affiliate because I know they will eventually come back to me through the commit feature. If you are purchasing APH, there are zero fees. All other tokens will cost you very little fees to purchase. You can avoid the fees totally by being the maker and not the taker. Basically what this means is when you make the order, it won't fill instantly at the current market price. This makes you the maker. Let me show you how this works. I will use Phoenix as an example. Let's say I'm in a hurry to purchase PHX because I've heard some news and I know the price will rise very soon. I want to buy now, which means buying at the current market price. I will click on market in the drop down. And I want to buy 2000, so I'll input 2000 here. If we look in the order book, we can see the current price someone is selling is here, which will cover our order of 2000. So if we click on place by order, we can see the fee is 0.94 APH. This is because we are the taker buying at the current market price. Now, if we weren't in a rush to purchase, we can use the limit option. This is the current selling price. As long as we set our buy price lower than the current sell price, we become the maker and we aren't charged any fees as you can see here. We can also select post only, which is a safeguard and won't allow our order to fill straight away. Okay, so let's make an order. I will buy some APH using NEO. In the drop down, select the NEO APH pair. In the balance section, if we roll over NEO, you will notice the contract wallet is empty. This is because we haven't sent any NEO to the DEX contract wallet yet. Affiliate has a great system for when you make an order. If you don't have any funds in the contract wallet when you make the order, it will automate the process for you. The transactions will however take a little longer, but it does save you funding your contract wallet. In this scenario, I will send two NEO to the contract wallet to show you how this works. I will make sure the NEO balance is selected, then click on Deposit NEO, Input 2, and select Deposit. 
This is where it uses gas for transactions. Once the transaction is complete, we can now see we have two NEO in the contract balance. Now remember, when you purchase APH, you aren't charged any fees. Even if you are the taker and filling your order immediately at current market prices, you will still not be charged fees. I need 1000 APH now, so I will have to buy at the current market value. But I also want to put an order in for longer term to see if I can get some APH cheaper in the future. First, let's buy the 1000 APH now. We have the NEO APH pair selected. Select market in the drop down. Under amount, input 1000 APH. You can see it will cost us 3.2 NEO. Now remember, I only deposited 2 NEO to the contract balance. So you will see how this automated process works now. Click place by order. As you can see, we are charged no fee. We can also see Affiliate will automate the order. Click Submit. We now have 1000 APH in our contract balance. If we want to withdraw to our portfolio wallet, simply click Withdraw APH. Select Max and hit Withdraw. Now let's make an order for longer term to see if we can get cheaper APH. Select limit in the drop down. Under amount input 500. If we check in the order book we can see the current price someone is selling APH is now 319. I will make my buy price slightly above the current buy price. I will input 305. This will put me at top of the buy orders, but still buying it cheaper than current market price, which is exactly what I want. In this case, I don't need post only selected because purchasing APH costs no fees, so I don't need that safeguard. Select place buy order. As you can see, I have no NEO in the contract wallet, but Affiliate will handle this for me again. Click submit. You can now see in the order book my order is at the top. So I hope this video has helped you and don't forget if you want any update or general information about Affiliate, be sure to join the Telegram channel. I will leave links in the description for the Affiliate downloads and all relevant information. Take care everyone.